couple of rapid fire questions. So, um, you, what's it like advising presidents? Because you've advised quite a few in your life. I, I well, I don't. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not just one person to another. I mean, uh, you know, it's not one on one. I've been privileged to become part of an advisory team mm -hmm. of about eight people. Yes, you have been listening to me. For seven years, mm -hmm. and you can always give advice, but whether they will listen or not, that is up to the individual. And I can tell you that Tabo Mbeki was a leader. I mean, he sought advice, he asked that we come. But it was a, a very, I might be the only exception, very eminent group of people mm -hmm. uh, who became his advisors. Mm -hmm. uh, and so too, uh, uh, President Obasanjo, and I saw leadership at first hand. I mean, this guy, you know, I admire the ministry, so right. I saw very much the discipline, mm -hmm. the true charge, and that was it. And uh, also President Kufo, you know, it was, uh, it was a joy watching a club quarters, how he operated as a president. So, yeah, I've had that privilege of seven, and I've been an advisor to uh, the Portuguese president, and in fact, I founded, uh, uh, his, I formed this advisory team together and I put on that a number of my friends, uh, high profile people who have been with me on different other. So it's, I mean, look, you give off your best. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, at the end of the day, the decision is theirs. And um, uh, you know, you've achieved something, if the advice you gave, you know, turns out uh, pretty good. You know, and then the, the benefits are obvious and it, Yes, yeah. But if they don't take the advice, at the end of the day, it's their prerogative. It's almost four years uh, since uh, Kofi Annan passed. Yeah. And you, you did some work with him as well. I mean, yes. Um, how do you, do you miss him? Well, I think we all do. Mm -hmm. uh, particularly in these times. I mean, I was a founding member of uh, the Global Compact Initiative, which he initiated, a wonderful compact tool let the corporate world appreciate that it's not all about profit and that sustainability you can easily put it to it at his feet that he made it happen the concept of sustainability the fact that it's not just them and us that we are all in this thing together the the the, the a broad definition of stakeholders mm -hmm. in any situation that it's not just the person putting the money here who's it but everybody has associated with it so all of these things are important and i'm saying that we are all busy now because given the mess that the world finds itself in, I mean, wise influence of someone like Kofi Annan to rein everybody else in. Mm -hmm. You remember the time when nobody, when uh, Americans were unsure, they, they, they were determined to go and uh, remove Saddam and Saddam Hussein. He went there and met the man, and you know there was some kind of a, a dialogue. So yeah, the world needs him now. What do you think he would have made up? Do you think he would have got to speak with Putin? Yes, I think so, yes. He's that kind of person, yes, he would have. Yeah. As I said, in a very difficult time, at a very difficult time, mm -hmm. he went to Iraq to speak to uh, Saddam Hussein and almost got a deal from Saddam Hussein. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 